All right, fam, we back out here. I am your girl, Marshawn Olanio. I am a life and relationship strategist, and I am here to help you improve your relationship by three times the amount. Y'all, we almost done. We almost there. Today is day 29 of the 30-day challenge. Can you believe it? Oh my God, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can believe it because once I set my mind to do something, I must do it. So um, the topic of today is relationship goals and discussing your relationship goals with your partner, with your spouse. It is really important to have relationship goals because it helps you move towards um it helps you move toward the goal. It helps you have something to look forward to, to work on. It doesn't mean that you're absolutely going to reach said goal in your relationship, but most people are happier when they are moving toward getting things done. In this case, a goal. All right, so um, have you thought about when was the last time you and your spouse actually discussed some of your relationship goals? What were your goals? Um, have you actually attained any of those goals that you set for the relationship and for your spouse? Just take a moment and think about that. When was the last time you did a goal check-in for your relationship as well as for your spouse? What is one of the things that you you know that you must be working on and you have yet to even get to? One of the things that we must think about is that uh, we have to continue to motivate and support one another, whatever the goal is. So whatever you are trying to attain, your partner knows about it. We have to be able to support and motivate each other. So we are moving towards said goals within the relationship and just throughout life period but this is going to make both of you happy both of you just um, feel like yes I can do this we can do this together and uh, one of the things that you need to do I should say another thing that you need to do is to make sure that when you guys are discussing your relationship goals you need to make sure that they are in alignment with one another does that make sense make sure that your goals that you're working on together that you're trying to attain with your spouse that they are actually in alignment with one another hey Stephanie I see you thanks for watching so think about the last time you have discussed your relationship goals what did they look like do you need to go back and revisit those goals what did those goals look like? Or is this something new that you were thinking about? Okay, maybe this is something that I can incorporate into my life, incorporate into my relationship. So again, you can improve your relationship over the long haul. And then when, once you do that, or once you think about it, it's like, okay, are, 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 are our goals in alignment with one another? So you're not fighting against one another. You're not fighting against the next goal. You're not fighting against the next opportunity that you're trying to gather up and think about. Uh, another thing to think about is when you have, excuse me, I don't like bugs, even though I love nature, okay? Um, one of the next things that you can think about is when, you, when you're talking about your goals, the length of time so think about your goals in increments increments of like six months one year two years five years what do those goals look like so the next six months what do you want your relationship to look like what do you want your goal in your relationship to look like what about one year what about two years have you thought about this stuff have you actually discussed this with your spouse are you guys in alignment with one another? Do they um, actually work out? Hey, Jan, I see you. I'm actually in the ATL. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the next thing that you want to do is to make sure that you guys actually discuss these things and imagine them and just contemplate on what you want your life to be like. What is your next goal? Discuss these things together so you guys can know. And then again, you want to think about the long-term goals. Anything long-term is over the two-year mark. So um, what does your life and what does your relationship actually look like in the next five years, the next 10 years, the next 20 years? Yes, yes. What does your life look like? What goal are you trying to attain, attain together? All right. So then the next thing is that you want to make sure that your goals keep you both happy. 
Again, I keep talking about the one-sided relationships. We don't want our relationship to be one-sided. We want both parties to be inputting information. Because if you think about it, any time you just continue to go along with the other person's plan, there's a fly, excuse me. Anytime you go against, anytime you go with your partner's plan the entire time, you start to lose yourself and you start to become quite annoyed, really, because you're not putting what you want into the relationship as well. You're not putting your input in there. And because you're only going along with your spouse's plan, you start to get annoyed and then you really start to sabotage what's actually going on because you are just annoyed, your voice is not being heard, etc. So make sure that both of these goals or all of your goals are keeping both of you happy go lucky okay the next thing to think about is to make sure make sure that your goals are specific that they are attainable and that they are um, uh, um, realistic because you don't want to put out there say for instance you know that you want to be a millionaire but you know you only make it forty thousand dollars a year by next year more than likely unless you get that big break you won't be a millionaire. So maybe you'll say, instead of saying $40,000 for the household, maybe you'll say 60 or 70,000 for the household. And then you also have to think about how are we gonna get to that um, 70,000, $75,000 household income together. So you guys put your brains together and then you start working toward that plan. Put some things in action because if you're not, if you're only in the planning stages, if you're only in the planning stages, your dreams, your aspirations, and especially your goals will never come true. You can never just plan, 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 plan because you're not going to know every single detail there is to know out there. When Once you start getting started with attaining your goals, then guess what? Things will start to unfold and they will start to open up for you. That path, that road will start to unfold for you. But if you're constantly waiting because you're trying to put every piece of puzzle in order, you will never, ever, ever get started, ever. You will ever, never, never get started, okay? So make sure that you actually think about these things, but think about them, but the next thing is to put an action plan behind those things. And then, once you start attaining your goals and once you start reaching these goals, then guess what? Do a small celebration for each of the milestones that you reach. So say for instance, you guys said, well, I plan to go to go to a different country in like the next two years. And then you actually reach that goal of planning, putting money aside, um, you know, whatever it is that you need to do research and blah, 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 putting all of this stuff aside. And then it actually comes into fruition. So now we're two years later, you actually went on that wonderful trip wherever it is that you are thinking about going so for me i've actually been thinking about going to greece and australia so i think that um uh, australia is going to be the first one but my point is once i do attain that goal of going to australia then guess what i am going to give myself a small celebration because we want to celebrate the things that we actually do attain in life the goals that we actually reach in life and so you want to think about the feedback that comes back so say for instance um you're having a tough time attaining this next goal whatever it is so you and your partner discuss about this particular thing and then how you actually can meet the goal together who needs to do more stepping up who needs to do more research just to make sure that this goal goes into place and again for me that was trap that is traveling and so I want to make sure that not only am I planning to go to Australia that I actually look up some you know the, the flights what do I want to do do I want to take a cruise do I want to just take an all expense paid vacation there what do I actually want to do what does my goal and what does my dream vacation to Australia look like so that's the next thing that I need to put into play and then that will be the next thing that you need to put into play depending on what your goal is the point is the next thing is to move into action to make sure that this thing gets done because as you know a year goes by really quickly a two years five years everything goes by really quickly especially when you become an adult all right so then think about what you guys want to do together specifically what you want to do together because remember the more things that you actually do and you're doing them together it's better doing them together than just doing them one on one so you have twice the power when you involve your spouse when you actually start to build up these relationship goals together 
and you're not trying to do everything on your own because you don't want to get burnt out either. You want to feel like, all right, this is cool. I'm actually attaining these goals, but not only am I attaining these goals, I'm actually attaining these goals with my spouse. So I want you to think about what your relationship looks like. What does your next relationship goal look like? If you've never done this before, then actually sit down with your spouse, with your partner, and talk about what your next six months actually looks like. What does your next six months look like as far as what, where you want your relationship to be? And then talk about a year, and then two years, etc. Right? So anything after two years is considered definitely a long-term goal. So in the next five years, what do you want your life to look like?